Hello, I'm Jennifer Shahadi, and I'm a board member at the World Chess Hall of Fame here in St. Louis. I'm excited to show you a really amazing composition on this featured playing chess set, which was actually donated to the World Chess Hall of Fame by Bill and Barbara Fordney. This ceramic set depicts poker spades versus poker diamonds, which really appeals to me because in addition to chess, I'm also a poker player. I talked to this amazing chess composer that I do some work with, um, Pal Benko, he's also a grandmaster, and I asked him if he could make really outstanding chess compositions in the shapes of the playing guard suits. So diamond, heart, spade, and club. And this is one of those compositions. This is actually the spade, and it's my favorite. One of the things I like about this composition is that normally in chess problems, the positions are all white to move, but because this is supposed to be the spade, of course, it's black to move and win. In fact, it's black to move and made into. So if you want to try to solve it, you should probably pause the video now. So the correct move is a queen sacrifice that's really outstanding. For those of you who guessed queen g6 check, you're wrong. It's a very good idea because if queen takes g6, d5 would be mate, but there's a problem. Queen takes g6 is actually a check. So that doesn't work but it might help you to pause the video again and find the right move. The correct move is queen to f4 check. A really beautiful queen sacrifice because it can actually be captured in three different ways. So let's do this in descending order of coolness. Let's start with this guy, which is the knight, capturing the queen. This checkmate probably the most prosaic. Rook, the joker, can just take here on e3 and give checkmate to the gang, which wasn't possible before because the knight was blocking that square. So I'll put this back. The knight goes here. The bishop goes back here. And again, we see this move, queen f4. Um, next move, bishop takes f4. That one allows knight to f2 mate, which wasn't possible before because the bishop could have taken on f2. Finally, the real coup de grace here is that if queen takes f4, we have d5 checkmate. And that's a really beautiful one because it's so rare to checkmate the king with a pawn. That's the weakest piece. And especially with so many pieces on the board that could capture um, the pawn, but none can here. And it's a, a really outstanding finish. It's always a pleasure to checkmate with the weakest piece, the pawn. What I love about this problem and this entire branch of problems where you have to compose a checkmate in the shape of a letter, or in this case, a poker spade, is that despite the strict stipulations, you can still get such elegant solutions that are both di difficult to find and also aesthetically pleasing.